This episode of Speakers of Heidelin is made possible by our generous patrons. Special thanks to our supreme and master speakers, Omeji Cat Comet, Erisu Yamakawa, Alex Franco AV, Winebow Brood, Aurora Templeton, Psyche, Azuta Starbreeze, Cletus Oreo, Nina Grimstarter, Lily Black, Bob Cece, Mictor Robintow, Anathus Moonscar, Pamela Isley, Elenriel Maximus, Code Ruth Novelist, Mira Miri, Celesto Nutrell, Lazy Boy, Luke Osborne, Pandalu Stormarrow, Tex, Kylin, Arthur Law, Barry Danderard, Saipup, Spencer Christmas, Noy Fafnir, Celine Deloon, Edwin, Wibster Wolf, Severa, Sir Kabarakil, Kazran, Ventos Tia, Ryark Forbear, Late in the House, Tony, Arcadia Lunashine, Umbral Wind, Framboise Zakaro, Bergie, Fudge, Sephiel, Cafe, and Nat Clay. Support the show and become a patron today at patreon.com slash speakersxiv. Thank you. Is speakers of Good evening, Aorsians. Welcome to Speakers of Fightland, episode 397. I'm Lakeel Bravestone, and I'm joined today by Georgi Wiston, Mela Vanadar, and Rolodes. Uh, hey! Hello. Hey. It is April 13th, 2024. Um, we are right coming right off the heels of uh, Live Letter 80. And so wow. today is a Live Letter 80 special, of course. Rollo's in the cave. Just right yeah. now, you are noticing that. That's true. He's in the cave. He is picking mushrooms. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm going to be so rude with you guys. I'm just in my skivvies. Right. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. nice tonight. Yeah. Rollo. Yeah. I think Rollo. Rollo's airing out the girls. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, live letter eighty is our our main topic today. That's probably going to be the whole show. So um, just be ready for that. It's going to be a lot of. A lot of talking uh, about graphics updates, so um, be ready for that as well. If you didn't like that, th well, there's two main topics. We'll get to it, but you, you, we'll just, that's our main topics for today. Uh, topic um, post show. I don't know if we'll. That is in the balance. We don't know right now. We'll see how far this goes. We'll run the show for as long as it goes, and there might not be a post show today. We'll see. If there is, questions from the syndicate. If you're watching live. Okay, um, there's a couple of channel updates that I'll mention. Of course, the weirdest, uh, I guess it is a tradition now, because this would be the third year we're doing it um, for patrons now. Titanic Tuesday, uh, which is such a weird event, but uh, that is on uh, the 10th, sorry, 16th of April. Um, it'll be um, available for senior, master, and supreme speakers. So uh, there will be a channel that pops up where you can uh, do that. Um, hang, hang out and uh, listen to me blabber. Uh, we'll talk, we'll we'll walk around on blabber. Uh, yap. Um, the uh, we'll walk around on the Titanic. We'll look at some stuff. You know, if you've been there before, you know how it goes. Um, what a thing to say in contextually. We'll walk around on the Titanic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll, yes. we'll rise it up. There, <laughs> oh, yeah. And for senior and mass, sorry, for master and supreme speakers, there will be also be a VOD. So uh, if you can't yeah, we, catch it live. We, we well, you don't watch the movie, do you? There. We don't show watch the, the movie. Show now. us the steering wheel, Lakeel. We'll, show us the steering wheel for the sub. We might not make sub. it back, guys. Okay, we're not We're not going down. We're, it's, it's, it's from a... It's from we're not going to the Titanic for real, uh, although uh, no. for obvious reasons. Spoilers: it sank a long time ago, uh, and the oh, reason why we watched it yet. <laughs> and the reason we're not watching the movie, just as a disclaimer, we're not. We watched the movie last year. We can't watch the movie every fucking year. Uh, yeah, watch the cartoon one. That is a good yeah, idea. We do watch Titanic, but like it's a Shakespearean play. Right. Right. Um, Anyways, uh, it's been the reason why it's happening on the 16th is because that's the time slot that fits. Uh, the anniversary itself is on the 15th. Um, but mm. yeah, there you go. 
Okay, speaking of other things, uh, the tenth anniversary. We're, we're officially in the tenth anniversary celebration season. Uh, so our first wave of uh, anniversary merch is available right now uh, on our merch store. Uh, I don't remember the wow. address, so you're going to have to check the description. Or uh, if you're watching live, it's exclamation merch, I think. Um, don't worry, I have pulled the, the hoodie that is just for me. I actually oh. managed to get in and pull it. Uh, so oh, well done. Unless you somehow were fast enough to grab it while it was available, that's for me. You uh, could have an exclusive if you were really lucky. Yeah, yeah. Sound off. There was got no way. <laughs> I was there going was a chance. Over a... Yeah, there is. But yeah. there was no way I was going to pay over a hundred dollars AU to purchase it, not including shipping. That is custom made, though. Like that is like the state I of know the it's art custom made. Uh, sweater for me. Uh, accidentally yeah. made it public, so uh, that's pulled now. Uh, anyways, that's on our uh, our merch store. Uh, there will be more. I am. Mela has promised me that he is going to. Oh do yeah, something. I'm working on it. Guys. So. There, there might be oh, another okay. exclusive coming up for our 10th anniversary by Mela Vanadar. So, mm. uh, I think the most, um, the most popular one currently is the mug uh, because um, it's a mug, isn't it? So it's um, a pretty nice looking mug. Yeah, it is a nice mug, and it's got our. I like the mug because it has both of the two logos on it. That's true. It's got the the crew on the front mm. and then the logo on the back. So, okay, uh, there you go. Uh, go get them. All right, um, moving on. Uh, it's time for, uh, believe it or not, there is a little, there's a tiny bit of recent events and it's a little controversial. Yes, so, um, <laughs> I don't know how else to say it, but there's a new, uh, there's a new optional item available on the uh, store. You got the other piece of gear. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Sorry. I seem to have accidentally put That's something else in the slide. Oh. Oh. Similar, but... I. I'm sorry. That must have been a mistake. No. Um. This is the um. The Alphino uh attire. Uh. God, we're such haters. This is why they don't reach out to us. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we'll listen. We'll resent this, this if you give us access to media stuff. This is too far. This... We'll not get any more checks. Well, no. you say this is too far. This is not the first time they've done this. I know. The, the, the Crystarium Prodigy's attire. Do it once. Fool me once, shame, shame on one. you. If do it twice, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it goes. That's how it goes. <laughs> um, so this is essentially a gear that's already in game, but you can buy it again and not be able to dye it for almost eight pounds. So mm. uh, what? So if you yeah, if you yeah. do try and recreate this outfit in game with similar colors, which you mostly can, mm. the only thing you're really missing out on is I think is the boots are unique, the and the arm guard and like this this. The chest scarf piece. It's the don't arm. Don't die. Don't die the same. It's the arm guard, not just mm. like the gloves that also go with that set. Or is it? I don't. I haven't looked too far into it. It's just the chest piece that is the most. I, uh, I think that's like a, the the like plating on the left arm. Yeah, might oh, be. oh, actually, yeah, you're right. That that. But it might just be the gloves. But um, know. yeah, it doesn't die exactly the same. But it might once they add the two channel dying. So. Arm guard is maiming. Mm -hmm. No, never mind. You can yeah. literally get I, all of this in game. You, you yeah. can basically make it though. Yeah. I so, will say, want. Rollo, you mm -hmm. might be able to do it when they give us the two die channels, but I'm going to guess they won't let you no. die it exactly the same way. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> be very funny. So, yeah. Um, we'll report back on that one. And yeah. That is, that is fair. The actual gear is roll locked. So, you can't actually mm. wear this as a healer. Because the arm piece is maiming. You know what That's we used to do? Me. We used to re-release them as level one gear for free in the game. Yeah, but why so, would you do that when you can make money? Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> I remember Sky Pirates gear. No. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Uh, so yeah, there, there you go. If you want to waste some money, uh, there you go. You can waste some money uh, and uh, have gear that is less yeah. cool than what's in game, I guess, because you can't buy it. <laughs> Give it to a homeless man instead. Maybe yeah. the tip or jar at your coffee shop. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe not this one. <laughs> no. Check out Speaker's Merch. 
Speaker, yeah, speakers march, uh, speakers march, speakers march. Okay, uh, that's uh, that. That will be uh, available for purchase. It became available on the 10th of April. So, um, fun. Fun and cool. Cool and fun. Only got seven copies. Uh, okay, um, that's all we have. Okay. Uh, now oh. it's time for live <laughs> letter 80. Um, Dios mio, la <laughs> oh, Okay. Yeah, what else okay, do you want? I assume. Oh, mug mail, but I guess we're not doing it. We're this not way. doing mug mail because we're doing live letter. Uh, no, we're skipping okay. uh, mug mail. Um, if you want to talk about the live letter, you can send us mug mail uh, about it, uh, about what we're talking about today. Um, but yeah, it's going to be live letter time now. We need to, ad to address what we're what? seeing um, but, right oh, now. Oh, the car line cannot, yeah. Because mm. they had the car line canopy in the background, but it was the old current version of the game. Not the new graphics. Right. And they can be forgiven for that. That's and, right. And then there's also the fact that um, because it's a green screen, mm. obviously, no matter who it was zoomed in on, it was the exact same background. Right. Yeah, right. that's true. That's all we want so to point that's out. That's all we need this. to talk. Yeah, that's all we need to say. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, Yoshi P and uh, Fox Clown, of course, uh, leading uh, the, the live letter. Um, isn't it fair to say that Yoshi P is a very miserable person compared to Foxconn? What like do you his, mean? his gimmick was, I'll wear a green cloth and pull it off immediately. Whereas Foxconn, <laughs> let's just say, put in a bit more. I have it. a feeling that was not Yoshi P's idea. You can tell by no, his face. Exactly, yeah. exactly. No, exactly. Who's how miserable he is? No. It was his idea. He said he wanted to do it because he's never had a chance to do it before, but he doesn't want to do it for the whole stream. He he yeah. really looked like he enjoyed that bit. It really yeah. looks like he is he having so a gay old time here. Um, so, um, yeah, he, he held that for about uh, five seconds into the stream and then took it off. He was a floating head for our audio listeners. We have great, to describe yeah. what's happening been... for our audio listeners. Oh, right. Um, How do you describe the other thing? <laughs> I think the other issue is that, like, if he, he was wearing not a proper green screen thingy. He was wearing his Minecraft, like, jacket or something. His Minecraft his, jacket? Excuse his me? His Minecraft <laughs> Mindforce jacket. He I has a Minecraft just, that's jacket? What they, that's what they explained it as. Yeah, it was yeah, a bunch of Minecraft, Minecraft, Minecraft jacket. I can imagine him, like, just he playing Minecraft. Minecraft, smoking, you know, like, his ashtray yeah. is full and he's building, like, a dirt hut. Um, okay. Yoshi uh, P, green screen jumper, floating head. Fox clan. Um, kind of like Satan mixed with an angel. He he never disappoints. He's supposed to be zodiac crossed with Hydaelyn, yeah. split down the middle. Yeah, so and he Zodialin. commits it to the bed. Zodialin, I think. Zodidilin. 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 Um. Yeah, he it is Ned Flanders creature. It is true nightmare fuel. Um, and throughout the entire thing, they kept like zooming in, like because yeah. we're going to talk about the graphics update in a bit. And every time they had to like teleport to a new location, they would just hard cut to Fox Clan just sta either staring at us or staring at the screen yeah. with no other additional commentary, just him staring. And it was an experience. And I kind of feel like it was a dream. I liked but, it. Yeah, um, it was real. <laughs> um, okay, so um, we're going to start off because, as expected, I would say, the um, the benchmark trailer opened the stream. Uh, mm -hmm. So we're going to look at that first. So, again, if you haven't watched... Why are you showing me this warrior of light at home? <laughs> it's worth watch, mm. like, watching it on the stream, and for us, we watch it via Discord. You mm. do lose a bit, but if you watch, make sure you watch it yourselves as well in, in full HD, because like the, the skin texture on his forehead yeah. and such is actually quite impressive, but you barely see it if you're like, watching it on, yes. on the stream. And also, in true speaker style, um, we had done all of our tests, uh, and then we started the stream. And the moment the benchmark came on on screen, uh, the the stream broke. So uh, we we yeah. we disconnected uh, immediately uh, when the benchmark. It's fell, actually so. on YouTube in I think up to four K. It which is. is rare, I think, for that. Yeah. Trailers. Yes. They know me. New era. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's have a look at it now. Again, you should watch it. Like I said beforehand, because we're going to stop and be annoying uh, a lot. So, um, fair warning to you. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Ugh, ESRB. Yeah, this is the only version that exists, I'm afraid. 
Peggy 16. It's silent. Oh yeah, it is. I forgot to turn the audio on. Here we go. Right? Not no. for us, but mm. maybe for them. Mm, not for you. No, not for them. Here we go. Oh no, they get it. We didn't. We still don't get it. Loud. All right, here we go. You heard me when I said we still don't have yeah. audio, right? No, it was too loud for we. me. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, well, you, <laughs> we definitely don't oh, have audio. Oh, perfect. You, Look. You can see the wrinkles. texture. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, the nose. Uh huh. Oh, uh, but that stubble is so The stubble bad. looks bad. <laughs> the stubble looks bad. a little bad. Don't look too closely at that, but yeah. it'll look fine. But I mean, game, come yeah. on now. This looks crazy. And the cloth on his his. Yeah, um, I mean, we've yeah. gone up a generation at least, and it's all things model. you don't notice. That's the thing. Like, it looks so natural when you're watching this trailer that there's a you lot don't of things. Realize how yeah, bad like, it looks now. Like Mela said before, like there are things that you don't really notice uh, on first viewing, but like look at his like eyebrows when he like looks around like in the video like there's more expressions in his face mm -hmm. than before they're smoother too like in 14 really like when, when you're in a cutscene mm -hmm. and they go from like in facial expressions they go hmm, like they go immediately yeah, like into the, the emote yeah. but here it's like way smoother yeah. Uh, it's also that, got shading from his own, himself on his face yes that yeah. hair too so nice the hair's cool yeah Erin Jaeger <laughs> it's super it's quiet. quiet. Well, it should be because we we have to talk over it a little bit. That's but true. Hopefully, okay. it's not. Okay, I'll I'll try this then. Okay. Ah, oh, good animation for getting that map out. Yeah. Oh, oh the map is so HD. Map. It's very HD. His outfit looks not great. Not used to. He's got a compass. Oh, the only weird thing is the way he puts it away is a little. I don't need to see what happened. Why is there a target on that boat? Oh, yeah. Look, it's those, um, Uraganites or whatever from Thalaland. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's now, ranked. obviously. Like, this is this is just for the benchmark, right? Yeah, this no, obviously, be... this is a just scripted cutscene, cut but there is reason oh. to believe that some of this might be updated um, animations, mm. which we'll get to in a second. Mm -hmm. We're New just like a, animation. A, My God, a spoiler for uh, what we're going to talk about later. The graphics update is way more extensive than we had first mm -hmm. thought. But yeah, yeah. Um, the background there, the forest looks way more dense than anywhere I feel like we've experienced in game. It could just be the camera angles used to make yeah. it look like oh, it's it, yeah, it does. Dense. Yes. But even then, yeah, and with a much nicer foliage. Yes, I'm really up to that. I like those little roly poly things, and the leaf. Birds. Oh, you know what? I'm watching this in 4K. I don't like how the calibris fly. I have to say, oh, it's really unnatural. <laughs> yeah, it is a little bit. It should move a slightly different speed or something. So move. No, no, no. That's not the annoy. What annoys me? It's just the the way they fly doesn't look possible. Uh <laughs> Look at this, nice um, autumnal trees, there's oh, a malt. it's purple, Lakeland 2 this confirmed. Is, it's an obese scyther. Yeah, this is the part that will probably cause most people's systems to turn the benchmark. Yeah, yeah, visual effects in this game, plus the reflection. Oh, wait. I mean, oh. amount of people, or models. Ah, uh, it's a little fast, because we didn't really get to experience the frame rate of the reflections in any of his demos. That's true. Bat snake. They're hiding it. They, want they are to hiding know. it. I'm a bit concerned about it. So. If there's anything, yeah, so. that that would be a concern, I think. That astrologian did a cool thing. Mm -hmm. Frog too. So it's many cool. bright bells. Yeah, the ninja's frog is cool, I guess. Oh, uh, look at all this crafting gathering gear you'll I like use it. for like a little bit and yeah. never yeah. again. The 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 cap, <clears throat> like the artifact crafting and gathering gear is some of the nicest in the game. And but you can never use it. Like use. it. Yeah. Yeah, you Very can never justify using it. I wonder where this is. Hmm, yeah. Where the giants live 
what's it called? I don't remember. Yak to Look at him. Yes, That's look at his big so, guy. I love yeah. him. He's cool. They're really well detailed, but it's so gr like gross having yeah. like an eyeball mm. that large in it, that detail. Is it really it's an so eleven troll? Wet. I thought it was a mammal giant. Yeah, I think this is a giant in fourteen, right? It's a giant, I think. Yeah, yeah. and that's yeah, they're based on the eleven giant. troll. Or an orc? No, they showed the orcs, didn't they? Or did they? I can't remember. Orc? I don't. Have we seen orcs? They were riding orcs. I can't remember if they showed them or not. It's either an orc or a giant. Oh, sorry, the speakers. The the podcast runs in thirty frames per second. By the way, so if you're seeing the frame rate being a little bit weird, that's why. Yeah. Then there's this weird floating place, and then they go into the purple dungeon, and then this dungeon, which has lots of purple shit on the rocks again. Mm -hmm. I think this is all the same dungeon. I think so too, but it's hard to tell. There's a lot of verticality in it, though. It's kind of neat. Yeah. No. Look at the cloth physics on the the covered face. Oh. Yeah. God, I can't wait to actually get this area in game. Just, it's none of this is like even related at all. Like every single time. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no way we're fighting three things at the end of this dungeon. <laughs> no. I wish we would. Also, eight people in the dungeon. Not so. Oh, unless it's a solo trial. He went Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Oh my God. Mark does some weird shield thing, which might be a new warrior skill. Yeah, it looks cool, doesn't it? It's Just like, like a, maybe it's like yeah. an intervene. And that was probably the Viper limit break. Wow, oh, epic warrior's version of cover. There you go. That's the benchmark trailer, uh, or benchmark, it. I should say. It's impressive. I, I, it looks good. Uh, we're about yeah. to dive into how good it looks in a second but yeah benchmark will like like it said will be available no i didn't say it here actually we'll i think it actually says on the first um i think we have a slide we do have a slide yeah, that's available all right um let's uh, let's jump into um the live letter itself then um ah! oh the up close oh no <laughs> Okay, right. So, uh, yeah, uh, the benchmark, if you are watching this on YouTube, it is already out. You know what? I'll link it in the description uh, if you're watching this on YouTube. You can download it now if you haven't already. Uh, became available Sunday, April 14th. If you're watching live, that's tomorrow uh, at midnight um, Pacific time, US. Mm -hmm. So, um, there you go. Um, there was... So... Th we already knew this was going to be like a big graphical update um live yeah letter. we'd seen some and we'd seen like small bits like the foliage changes and the textures and mm -hmm. the uh, shaders yes and we were hoping for some demonstration in game and, and such yeah. yes we'd seen screenshots but nothing in mo motion mm -hmm. no uh, and so uh, this was not so not a surprise when this was how it opened. He did before then talk about you know went through the usual, but all about the, like the collector's edition and stuff. I guess for people who didn't watch the um, the PAX East presentation, but um, yeah, then they quickly went on to this part, 7.0 graphical update. Now we had a few wishes that we didn't expect to be. Mm. fulfilled in this graphical update because they were so uh, adamant that this was the first of potentially many graph or at least more than one graphical updates they said this is the first graphical update um and so we thought you know they're not going to cover everything that we want well we'll we'll get to it uh so they they started off this was a very strange setup but I, I understand like why this. they had to do it like this, because otherwise I don't think it would be possible. You can't just like run a client, split the client in two to show the same. I would thing have rather them somehow multi-box Yoshi P's computer. But how would it work? I don't know. But how, how would it move in the same way? How would it like it's two different? It would just it would just do the same input on both clients somehow. I'm sure yeah. there'd be a that way. Would they probably would. could have done it, but. Right. Yeah. Um, I mean, they Fox, they can't do that. Yeah, like one of them was Foxconn trying to imitate where Yoshi P was looking, and it was, you know, it worked for the most part, but it was just a bit. I mean, you can off. clearly see the difference already here. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. The uh, the foliage being the first thing that they wanted to focus on here. And the Lalafell's taller. <sighs> it's closer. Okay. They grew. Can we just get that out of the way? Like, having 
using a Lalafell to, to, to show anything in the game. This isn't Lalafell hate. This isn't Lalafell hate. Deserved, this, of course, always, but this is Lalafell hate. That's a bit <laughs> slash S, whatever. The um, this isn't it, you know. Like he he was he's gonna we're gonna talk about it later when he starts showing off like gear. Yeah. Oh, gear well, that on the was the looks section. like a like triangle, that. right? Yeah. And it's too small to like see anything. Um. So yeah. Just saying. Just saying. We're getting that out of the but way. But on the plus gonna... side, when you've massively upgraded the textures, compressing them down to Lalafell side will make them extra crisp. So it is true that it is good mm. for this specific purpose because we get a really close look at the grass because it's, <laughs> they're so true. small. Um. So yeah. Um. You can already see there's the um, there there's the, even the like rock texture is more like crisp like you you can see it um better and the shading oh. on it shading on it, it of lovely. course yeah um the, the you don't yeah you kind of see it like the the actual texture on the not the foliage but the ground itself is improved mm -hmm. as well um but what you can't see here no we're going to show the pictures and of course we're going to describe it for our audio listeners but when he walks through the grass the grass reacts to the character like yeah. it moves it has away. like displacement yeah insane mm. we're living in the future isn't that crazy well, like that's <laughs> it's, how i honestly it's one of the nicest things in gaming that I was the so first much. sign that oh shit they've done a lot more mm. than we thought this is stuff that this no is... one cared about when but... a game adds in like displaceable grass yeah you don't know how good it feels we suddenly. talked about it just like some episodes ago i think melo yeah. specifically talked about that and i thought and i think i even said there's no you fucking did, way yeah. they're gonna bother with that when WoW added they bothered. it, it was game changing in how fun it felt yeah. to just be in, fo you know, grassy. And they've increased the foliage count massively now. Yes. And the fact that this happened, oh, it's, mm -hmm. it's a dream come true. Mm -hmm. This is like when uh, the fish swam away from Mario on Mario 64. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly like that. <laughs> exactly like that. The same Roland. amount of interactivity. It's yeah. so crazy. Yeah. I mean, we finally caught up. Back in the day, that was impressive. Right. Before fish wouldn't have interacted with you anyway. Yeah. We finally um, caught up. Yeah, we caught up. Is what I'm saying. In the left picture here, you can see there's some white flowers. You might think that they're gone in the right picture, but no, they're just harder to see because oh, they're yeah. actually smaller in Newton, their detail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There were some screenshots where you could see this i don't know if they we have one of them i don't know i don't know we'll see um yeah uh, we have another picture here oh well here you go yes you can see yeah. it here yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it shows the zoom in on the foliage when you do it currently it looks like it looks like, a, like n64 flat, yeah it looks like an n64 game yeah and now it looks like a gamecube game at least yeah I said it yeah, during the coverage. Details in the origin in our current game look like a 1.0 Black Shroud map. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. Um, it's, a, it's, like, it's not something you see often in the game right now, but it's always annoyed me if I zoom in through the grass to see these. Absolutely. Like, just like it's hard to describe what they're like, but they're like smooth pixelated. They're like these weirdly like cut out shapes. It yeah. just doesn't look real. Yeah. yeah. And then it has the horrendous dithering as well, which yes. looks better in the new version because the textures are much higher res. Mm -hmm. um, you don't really see it that well here, but I think maybe you can see some of the volumetric like fog like in the distance, maybe. I don't know. But like something you'll notice is that the colors, they've improved the color palette uh, a bit mm. uh, on the visuals, um, which we'll see more clearly in... Um, mm. In, in the other pictures but uh, yeah here's more you can see really see the coverage in this picture of the foliage mm -hmm. and this yeah. is him running oh, it's through so dense it is um which the is left good. looks like a horrible salad bar on the right <laughs> a beautiful fuller salad bar exactly yeah, yeah. <gasps> it, it's almost That's like so true. it's it's almost like a little sad because it shows how dated the game looks now like mm -hmm. putting these side by side um Something that they wanted to point out during this, like, we're already overwhelmed with this foliage, but I remember them keep saying, like, notice the hair. I didn't really quite, yeah. like, the hair, you can't see it in this picture, but in the previous picture, you can see it more clearly. The hair is way more, like, detailed, but uh, we'll, we'll get to more close-ups later. Um, <clears throat> this 
this is this, this is, was incredible yeah this is another Yoshi P said change. to get on a mount and they got on the true griffin mount he said fly in a circle they have added in like an uh, like a f sort of it feels like a physics based role like a a, a tilt mm -hmm. for when you're moving left and right in the air like um spinning mm -hmm. it's obviously just the animation but it yeah. feels so good like it it looks so much more natural than yeah. how it is in the game and it's a it leans into the turn. Need it at all, but it looks amazing, and I'm so glad we have it. Well, we have to explain. Like, so there's a there's a, they went on a flying mount, they spun in a circle. So on the old version, as you all know, when you turn, you you kind of just pivot around. You, you know, the, you you rotate in a circle around a point, but your mount remains uh, parallel to the ground. Yes. Mm -hmm. But Perfectly straight. In 7.0, your mount will actually like lean in to the to the yeah, turn, but so like, it looks more natural. But it's in an like in a smooth animation as well, though, where like yes, it'll mm -hmm. reach the peak of its lean if you keep going. But it feels like it, you know it like starts to lean, so you could maybe turn the other way and it would smoothly animate between them. Yes, which is lovely. Mm. And the they also yeah. said that this won't apply to every mount, only the ones where it makes sense for yes. the yeah. mount to be leaning as it turns. Yes. Which is, you know, attention to detail, which is good. Mm -hmm. I want the regalia just like tilting all the way to the side every time. <laughs> just fall out. Uh, yeah, this is uh, another thing that no one really expected, I think. Um, no, but... Absolutely not. It's, I they, mean, they, they this was the that. least expected of any of them, I think. Yeah, because we This were... was just so like, oh, I didn't even consider they would even think to do that. Because mounts in this game, they just kind of do... They just kind yeah. of move. so stiff. Yeah. And like... It's non-physics-based mounts, <laughs> which, you know, this is a preference. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's not like one's better than the other. Like, Guild Wars 2 does physics-based mounts, and, you know, they're cool. But you can't just hover on, like, a, a physics-based mount as easily. You can't just remain in place. Right, right. It's like a, you know, I think I prefer this style, but it's nice to have this animation change. Yes, yes. Um, okay, so uh, then they teleported to Tailfeather um, in the Hinterlands, and this is where you really start to see the ground texture update um, shining. Um, you get to see Look some at those of the pebbles. Yeah, uh, the 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 texture on the ground is much higher resolution. They've they've changed the ground texture. You can tell because the the cobbles around the um, the Etherite Plaza are different. There are more of them. They're mm. smaller yeah. than the the They're old. More ones. rounded and proper. Yeah. Uh, Whereas the old ones are kind of like <clears throat> you can see through them at some points because it's that old. They're like way of putting textures on ground. Specters. They're like yeah. they're like ghost yeah. uh, cobbles. Um, it also helps with as this one shows. Having a higher res texture helps with the bump mapping, which yes. this game struggles with. Yes, there it still has it, and it's still obvious, but yeah. it looks a lot better. It, 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 they even put like tiny, like tufts of grass, uh, like way, like mm. animated grass coming mm. out of some of the cracks and stuff. So that's uh, again, the attention to detail that we, I think for for I mean again, this is good that they're showing it on a Lalafell because if you play as a Lalafell. You see the ground more than other races. <laughs> so yeah. I guess it's nicer You're closer for a lot to of the lot players. Yeah. Uh, here's another example of uh, the ground texture update. And you can see the grass that I was talking about. Mm -hmm. um, that's crazy. I mean, it's, in, yeah, it's insane. It's crazy it's, that the, yeah. the picture on the left, that's how we've been playing this game. Like this, the game looks, it looks like fine. That. It just it looks old. Yeah, it was yeah. of its time and it served its purpose. Yeah. Well, even time. when it well, we'll not be able to go back. This though. is like this once is... this happened, we'd never be able to go back. <laughs> this is tail Why feather. Would you choose to. Well, you have to remember. I think they chose tail feather specifically because it's a heaven sword zone, but it was also still made for the PS3. Like th this is still designed mm. with the PS3 in mind. So that's probably why it looks so extra. But it was, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I wonder how long it took to load into this then. <laughs> a long time. Uh, yeah, some more close-ups. Like, look at that. Look at the texture on the rocks. <clears throat> like, a hundred percent. There's gonna, you know, those rocks are gonna repeat, and the texture. Repeat, oh yeah. You can't really notice it. Like the difference in texture on the different rocks is quite impressive. 
Yeah. That man who took photos with his feet in the photos has done an amazing <laughs> job. Mm hmm. <laughs> there was one thing that I noticed about this picture which annoyed me a little bit, but like, it's something that's in the game now. It's not something they're going to be getting rid of. In the above, to the top right of Yoshi P's Lala Fell, you can see the seam of a two dimensional. Uh, oh, it's grass. Like, yes. Which did, which bothered me a little, but like, I understand. Yeah. It bothered me too. I don't. It, it reminds me of Tomb Raider 1. And the fact that we haven't like got further it than Tomb Raider 1 still. It reminds me of Mario Kart 64. <laughs> How are we still in <clears throat> in the 2024, the year of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, still doing the X, like crossing two 2D things into an X and they're saying that's good enough? It's baffling, isn't it, really? Listen, it works if you look at it not You're from not the top. You're not supposed to look at it as, yeah, like yeah, this, but I guess. Yeah, you... you, you... You're going to look at grass from above. Well, uh, yeah, some of the some I, games don't do I this. Agree, some games do really good so, grass now. Yeah, but yeah, like, come on, it's an MMO. Get grass right. We, uh, for let's not forget that this is an That's MMO. True. At the end of the, we'll true. never have, you know, no. sixteen has nice, uh, si uh, seven rebirth has nice, which is expected because that's a single player like AAA game. Okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, here's another uh, shot. <clears throat> showing how much more grass there is now uh, in Tail mm. Feather as well. Um, but mainly the etherite. The etherite crystal textures and, and the way the light plays on it now. Looks a And lot the metal to a lesser extent. I didn't really feel like I got enough chance to notice the metal in this zone. It's no. a bit of a dull day, but oh, the etherite. The oh, that good. crystal looks so. Oh, I just want to like bite into it. Yeah, it looks so delicious, mm. like sugar candy. Right. Mm. I want to charge it up if you know what I'm saying. Or uh, yeah, the uh, rocks. So the yeah, on the left, it kind of looks like the threads made of plastic. I've always thought that, like it looks like a, yeah. a toy. Um, yeah. But then on the right, it looks like the toy you could buy on the uh, online store. Mm-hmm. Yes, it does. Uh, but now it looks more realistic on uh, in the seven point oh one. From the way these two describe it, it makes me sound like it looks like a lollipop to them. Mm. Yeah. It does look tasty. Do you not agree? Yeah, I'd suck on no. right? It looks. Oh, like... it looks really tasty. It's yeah. like um, just like rock candy, like sugar. Yeah. Yeah. I'd sup upon it. Give it a little chew, yeah. a little nibble. Mm. Right, right. I wonder what happens to you if you take a bite out of an ether, right? Oh, if you swallow like a shot, like a tiny little chip of etherite. Mm -hmm. God, it kind of looks like something Walter White would would cook up in a yeah. <laughs> mm. Oompa. Yeah. You mean that? You mean that Oompa Loompa? <laughs> yes. Okay. There's a lot, a lot of references. Okay, moving on. Okay. Ah, uh, now this is where it went creepy. Mm, I don't like I... where this shot is going. This gets a lot worse. This does get a lot worse, but let's not You've talk not... about that for a second. Yeah. Ignore that. He's going to show... So what he wanted to show was the dress. Um, so... Lovely gear. Yeah, this was the um, Eden um, casting set. Lovely set. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I And this, I think, prove, like shows what we mean when... Gear preview oh, should be glass, shown right now. on... Um, not a Lollafell, because Lollafell has the most, like unrelatable body shape to compared to all the other races like th it goes like this right it's it's a sugar cane yeah and it, it, the gear doesn't like look like anything they have no shoulders like it's i don't know it, it just doesn't they're, look right that's squats which means the gear gets like tapered at the top so you don't really yeah. get an idea of what the dress looks like <laughs> it doesn't really matter i but it's it's just a you know a weird thing but it gets weirder because they were going to show um, what this dress looks I don't like, like this set. when it's wet. Oh, I don't like this mm. section. Why Why <laughs> did they keep zooming in on this Lalafell's chest and making her wet? It was a horrible section. Just... They lingered on it for far too long. What Yoshi P point. wanted you to look at wasn't her chest, really. It was no. her face. It's her face. And if you, you look at the face... You can see that she has... You can see near her nose... There's the reflection of the sun because it's it's wet, so it's a brighter reflection, and near her chin. But instead, what Yoshi P did was constantly zoom in on her chest, slowly over <laughs> and over. It was a horrible section. Yeah. 
It was really horrible. <laughs> it was. It was. It was uncomfortable. I think. I don't like, like her angles. I yeah, just... like we should be looking at the change to her eyes and her hair texture at this point. But, and that's... Like, look how good the ears look. But no, he's he's. Well, okay. We've we've disclaimed enough. Let's just talk about what we're seeing in the picture without talking about that. Okay. Because people get so upset when we point this out, Mela. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry. Eyes look good. Um, eyes look yeah. fun. The eyes are the biggest change in this episode. They don't yeah. look like glass marbles mm. anymore. Right. No. Uh, There's a light behind them. That is a look that some people did like, though. There was a little bit of a charm. This, is, this, is this June's folk or whoever? The yeah. People liked that. Like, no, no, uh, no pupil, pupil look. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I actually do like it too. Um, so I do feel. But they do look more deep. alive. With mm -hmm. uh... I mean, I would like to see these compared to a, a plains folk eyes. Yeah, they might still look more like that, and like the plains folk ones might have been in, made to improve even more in terms of looking similar to mm -hmm. a human eye. Yeah. Um. But yeah, uh, the character model looks good. You can. Yeah, sorry. you can also see the differences on the gauntlets. There's an actual like shine and reflection. To yeah. Them. Oh yeah. There's, there's like, like a, um... on the left one, they look kind of dull. Mm. What's it called? You can kind of see like the the refraction of colors, like it's iridesc iridescence mm. to it. Yeah. 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 They sh yeah. It, it, it's been hard to see the change to metal text in most of these demos. I think we just need to see them in game, but yeah, like, so. you do, you do see it a bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then we uh, went into a dungeon. We went into the lost city of Amdapur. Um, hard uh, to show. Uh, and unfortunately, I mean, first of all, uh, this looks good. Look it's amazing. There is one thing that I hate in this game that was introduced with Stormblood, and that's the milk rain. Mm. I really yeah. hate the rain. Please change it back. Please change it to anything but like. The the white streaks. Mm -hmm. That's not what rain looks like. You know, I I, I don't know. It's it doesn't look it's, good. Yeah, it was uh, disappointing on Stormblood really. Yeah. I mean, have you traveled to Chernobyl? You don't know that. Are we in Chernobyl? The whole world can't be Chernobyl. We're in the lost. We're in the lost city of Amdapur. <laughs> right, right. I I hate this rain. It was it was that first day of Stormblood when we were exploring the housing district. Yeah. And it mm. was raining, and you just saw how ugly it looked. And yeah. you think, well, my game's ruined now. And they've forever. been hyping up how they've like improved the weather systems. So, they like, really they didn't. Like... The only thing they did was that volumetric fog cloud thing in uh, where Yangsha. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. anyways, um, rain aside, um, this, this, you can s yeah, go on. You can see the shadows on all the debris on the ground, which is whereas on the left tends to it sort of blends in and you can't really see the three dimensional objects until you approach them further. Yeah. Yeah. Also the texture on the the headpiece mm. looks a lot better. Yes. Yes. And also a lot more clear. And here you can also see the hair again more clearly. You can see like the strands mm -hmm. of hair uh in the in this. Um also obviously the wet texture oh, on, the wet on the tiles on looks the fantastic yeah looks very yes. good there was some also oh, and some more unexpected stuff that had happened uh here some as well horrible fungus the the, fun like this the fungus in the background was moving now like animated in a like, more like jiggling around yeah Ooh, very gross disgusting. um so a lot of animation work i guess has been done or like some sort of They've done something to make them uh, move more. Um, They've made the uh, like the one that looks a bit like a cactus better, and they made the mushrooms better. Mm -hmm. I don't think they've done much on like the the like the puffball ones. The what do you mean? I don't know. No, I don't remember. And I think that's uh, that's a texture. Ones? Like those, the like you see in here, the like the top, oh, the ones on the like left. Cloth. Yeah, yeah. Like they look fine, and you know, but that kind of mm. uh, fluffy mm. shader. Maybe that's coming in a future update because like moogles and yeah. stuff, and animals with like lots of hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They could benefit from some updates. Yes. With uh, this yeah. screenshot, you can sort of see a decrease in the Vaseline filter that they placed upon the game, or mm -hmm. that currently is placed upon the game. Yeah. Yeah, like you see the reds in the floor a lot more clearly. The like the tiles are like green and red at the front. Yeah, which you don't notice. Yeah, 
Um, yeah, the game looks clearer and better, and the colors are. I get, I get. We use this word. This is like the word. The speaker's word is malaise. But like mm. the, the, on the left, it's kind of malaise, you know. But while on the yeah. right, it feels Which works for Ramdapo. It does, but I I like the the colors malaise. in <laughs> malaise. Uh, on the right, I like the I like the colors more there. Um, they they pop a bit more. I like that. Okay, so um, unfortunately, we don't have the view. The same. This is this shows the problem that we had with exactly. how they did this. You can see <laughs> like. Uh, Slightly more obvious tech uh, reflections, but I mean the game still has reflections now. I don't, I don't know what they were trying to show at this point. But what frame rate? That exactly. is that is the big question because they have added a lot of reflections to the game now. But what frame rate do they run at? I I have a worry. No, I am a little worried that, that they're gonna fast. be they're gonna be fifteen frames per second. Uh, like they currently are in the game, but um, that remains. But it'll only look worse if there's if everything's reflecting things. Everything will have these little 15 FPS like judders going all around the whole world. Ooh, it won't I look good. I can't wait to see it. I hope, I hope it's variable based on the importance of things in a scene. Yeah. Um, oh no. What? So like the the ground texture, the ground reflection will be 60, but then the armor will be like. 15 and then like some super important thing with like two fps and there's <laughs> it'll what? just be random everything's just going at different speeds now oh yeah it yeah. depends on how visible it is maybe um suppose, in yeah. the background i don't know if we have one with the those luminescent plants in the background on the in our current game but it's no. it, compared to what our current game looks like the ones on the right have feel a little bit more natural and less bloom like in terms of their glow compared to the environment. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah it's like it's properly coming from inside rather than just Yeah, just like, like a I'd be interested to see how um the Moogle area in Churning Mists looks because oh, yeah. they have a lot of Mopo. pink glow. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, some more uh, we get some more uh view like the uh, just rubble uh how that's shaded in this new version yeah it looks good um yeah, upgrade to rubble well, i like it yeah um again we see the the updates to the textures of the lalafell yeah looks okay so it's a, it's we a wet lalafell updates to the textures of the fluffy things yeah. in the background they're a little bit better it's hard to tell because oh, yeah. it looks like it's... maybe the quality on the left is a little yeah, lower. Yeah, I've been moving in when that screenshot yeah. was taken. It's, it's hard to tell. Um, okay, and then we go to Il Meg. Oh. Um, and again, Il we Meg. see this like ground texture update. <laughs> I mean, I think the one on the right definitely does look better, but don't look at the crease between where the yeah. light starts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a little rough. But... That's rough. The ground texture is good. <clears throat> they um, can work on that, though. That's yeah. something they can work on, at least. It doesn't look as bad at a distance. No. It looks better here. No. <clears throat> but it's very... Having, like, an obvious seam in texture seems very, like, EverQuest 1. Like, it feels really yeah, old. Yeah, I'm surprised they haven't, like, put, like, some foliage around it, like, some yeah. like, something to something. hide the seam. But, yeah. Um, it looks fine. It looks good. Uh, you yeah. want This is stuff you wouldn't really think about well, when you're playing the game much. yeah um it would be so amazing yeah yeah it does look nicer and a bit cleaner yeah uh and then of course you can already see it here before even getting to the flowers you can oh. see that the coverage is way higher on, on mm. the 7.0 version um oh il meg my favorite area it's just so I mean, much more beautiful is, now yeah it's very promising for the azim steps which Notoriously, was the flattest green texture of all. <laughs> Even though it's a massive grassland. True. Uh, yeah. I, I, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing that. That's that's gonna look great. Uh, uh, this. Yeah. Go on. I was just gonna say the details here. There are pixies in that patch of flowers ahead of them. Yeah. Can, I cannot identify those pixies oh, yeah. on the left. Oh yeah. What the hell? God. <laughs> yeah, I can't see them. Oh, I'm sure the one on the left must have some setting or be like slightly, but like those red flowers in the field ahead just looks like a lattice of blobs. Like it. 
They yeah. can't look that bad. But they are gone. So there are some flowers that seem to be gone. Like yeah. the white and the be. red flowers. It could be the kind of thing where you can't see them at a distance. Like the, mo the, the overwhelming color is pink because that's what your eye focuses on at a distance. But when you get closer, you can see the differences more easily. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Uh, but also on, on the left in the current game, you can really see like there's not the coverage is sparse uh, in Il Meg, and it's mostly like mm -hmm. ground texture doing the work to try to like sell the illusion. Uh, while in 7.0, it covers it covers the ground with flowers. Um, so here we have another uh, shot of him going into the um, the flowers. Yeah, no, I think yeah, those... you can see the whites a little bit better. I think the tall flowers are actually oh, yeah. gone from the updated version. I think they've cut them down, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think they did. I think they've integrated them, back. them better. Yeah. Uh, we worried a little when we saw... Well, worried. We, we were questioning whether or not the rainbow had been removed from uh, the updated version, but no, you can see the faint outline of it's it. It's not just, been removed, but it's it doesn't It's based on look angle, good. probably, and I think it's because they were Yeah, not. if you can still see it as a nice clear rainbow, that's fine, because I think it's a very... Unique part of this zone. Those yeah. weird spires. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so he I ran. Don't want to take away. He ran through them, and here's a picture of the close-ups again. Uh, looks much better. Um, obviously, uh, again, N64 textures for sure on uh, the left. Um, and N64 looks... dithering on the right. Yeah. It's all N64. <laughs> it's all N64, <laughs> baby. Um, always has been. Uh, and yeah, then... the dithering's fine. But oh, if yeah. it has I... a big texture, it looks okay still. Yeah, I like it. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's a good technique. It's at least high res, like even when it's yeah. up in your face. Um, and then here's an overview of the the new the new field. It just looks better. Like you can see on the left, you can just, see yeah. all these bald spots uh, on the ground yeah. Uh, yeah. that are all covered now. Bald spots. <laughs> yeah. Little <laughs> um, Meg was balding. <laughs> yeah. Bald we it. We Yoshi P it. found Rogaine for <laughs> yeah. <Il> yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Took a trip to Turkey. Yes. <laughs> uh, this is the one where we were more worried about like the rainbow around, but I do think yeah. it's based on just angle and distance. Yes, I think so. Um, the background here on the left, it looks more artificial, where on the right, it looks the colors as they fade away look more similar to what your eye would see yeah. as something gets further and further away from you. And that's yeah. that volumetric. It fades properly into the mist. That we have uh, in the mm, game. It does a lot better. Out. Yeah. Um, now, this was all well and good, but in the back of my head, and I'm sure in Mailers as well, because we talked about this a lot. There's this aliasing problem at this game. Oh has. yeah, and I was certain it's the one worst part of this game. Yeah, and I was certain that that would not be touched in Couldn't this graphics be. update. But then he opens. He's like, I'm not sure if this will be vis like noticeable on stream. He says, um, and I'm like, mm, I'm listening. Switches to this screen, and he points out the trees well. in the background that are flickering away as they are. Oh. Uh, they are Yoshi Pink. Yeah, you would say they're aliasing uh, over mm -hmm. there. Um, and he then shows us that. Well, he talks about he talks about it for a bit. This is a problem that they've had, and he shows us that we have two new anti-alias options. Yeah, and oh, don't worry, they've got a catchy day. name, so you'll remember them. Yeah, there was like <laughs> TCMA. I think we'll see them. Uh, no, I don't think I'm we have no. a screenshot. Of no, unfortunately, oh, there's okay. no screenshot of like the menu. It's they, like he went he through it. it very quickly. It was, was like TCMA, TCMA, and then TCMA plus jittering camera. That's the highest level. Yeah. Oh, that's the good shit. That's, the days yeah. of FXAA, the veneer, the, the slime. Yeah, it's yeah. gone. TC now it's SMMAA. Okay. Now it's not like. You know, it's not the the strongest anti-aliasing algorithm you can get in the world, but it looks like it does a pretty good job for this game. Well, the TCS it is light years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When he turned yeah, it exactly, on, yeah. when he turned TCSMAA plus jitter on, changed it. Like there is no sign of like jittering anywhere. It it's sort of like you know how for those that don't know, and anti-aliasing is essentially just like trying to soften the like the jagged um, lines that you get uh, on shit. Uh, and 
it, it softened everything. Like it, it's it's all I wanted, <laughs> so it's perfect. Yeah. Uh, for um the just the base one as well, which is the the only one available to consoles, still looked good. Like it's not jittering. Like you don't see well, it, a little bit, but you don't see it as well. Yeah. The as, con the consoles, or at least the Xbox Series X and the PS4. I can't remember if you said this about the PS5 as well. It didn't yeah. have um the plus jittering camera it only has no. the base version yeah sorry t s c m a a there you go that's the right oh, that's, sure? the, that's the that's the new one isn't it i don't think that's a pretty common one these days i mean there is s m a a is quite yeah no yeah. T, -S t s c m the next new, yeah t t s c m a a it only applies the t a a to the detected edge pixels and not the whole image oh it's like new tech Oh, it does sound like an interesting. Uh, yeah, we've done it. PC master race. Well, we're we're uh, the head of the game, guys. Yeah. Um. So that's very cool. Uh, we'll we'll get to more very current tech. Uh, I'm very surprised at how much they're doing. I'm happy. Yeah. Very happy. Very happy. Uh, all right. Uh, next is shadows, which we've also uh, been uh, complaining yeah. about in the past. Uh, Look like amazing for your character and rubbish for everyone else and then trees especially yeah we, we know horrible we know that we're getting more shadows on distant objects but i didn't expect mm -hmm. them to actually update the the shadows themselves but they've done that as well there are now three levels of shadow um, that is soft shadow technology yes um the softest one looks so good because it is like it does the um it's properly it's, like it's based distance on distance based. yeah so like you see the outline high up tree branches will be soft and we have like i don't think we oh no we have a picture of it like so so what's currently on screen is like the sharpest like shadow yeah. like this is very unnatural mm. but it's it looks you know, nice it still looks it's nice. unnatural but it looks nice because you can see the leaves and stuff yeah that's but, currently what we have now right is this the level i well, know but ours is a lot more like blurry these are these are okay. new shadows but this is what's going to be default is what i'm uh, gathering yeah uh, the softest one looks like this, um, and the picture makes it look a little shitty. It looks better in yeah. like when it's moving, but uh, here you can see like the leaves are further away, so they lay out. They're weaker, more blurred out. Like it's gets stronger. I don't near mind the... this one for the tree, but yeah. the shadow of that building on the left goes quite bad in this compared to the first one. Does it? I look how sharp the top of that. Well, that pillar thing is, and well, and that's close. That's so. a very unnatural shot because that look, almost looks like a mirror image of the building, like a reflection yeah. in a pond. You know, which is not shadow how shadows would not be that work. Perfect in real life. No. It may not be that perfect, but I don't think that's a very strong. Well, it I looks think a little this is a bad, jaggy on the edge. I think this picture it might be just looks just, bad. Yeah. I don't know why it looks like this. It looked much better live. But there's three levels, so the in yeah. intermediate one may be nicer looking to, for some people. Yeah, you you cannot access the softest setting on uh, consoles, which is important uh, to note. Uh, PlayStation Four, wasn't it? Just. I'm pretty sure it was, oh, was all, it all consoles. consoles. Okay. I think, but um. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. One it was Windows and Mac only for something. Wasn't yeah, it? Windows Mac only for yes, the, okay. for the, this. Yeah. Um, that wasn't all though. He he had to go somewhere. He wasn't. He didn't. He couldn't show much for where he was going, but he wanted to show something else they're working on. Um, and have implemented only in some new areas, uh, and that is brand new water. Um, now, oh, wow, you can really tell in the static image. <laughs> yeah, it, it's hard to, yeah, it's to see it here. Motion thing. But it, it's, uh... it's got waves. Uh, yeah. yeah, in the distance it looks quite good. Yeah. Close up it looks a little jelly-like, mm -hmm. but it still looks decent. But yeah. I mean, it's, it's nice technology. It's, they've tried. They've tried to do something, and I like that. Um... Most games don't care about water anymore i've known like games just don't, have stopped caring about making good water well because it's so resource intensive it's such a... yeah i know it's but work harder on your games are you charging <laughs> okay. like you see the price of games he's at 150 pounds for this new it's star work harder game? on your games folks work harder on your games it's a question of priorities they could work very oh. hard on the water but like the, oh sorry they could work very hard on the water but like the percentage of time they spend on that is like significantly more work they could spend on the rest of the game yeah i, I agree yeah but well, i also i mean need... in games i mean water matters, so... Milo, they do it see if thieves, sea of thieves did it yeah. like yeah. 10 years ago at this point um 
I miss when... This is an MMO, remember? There was an era of, like, really trying hard with graphics, like, For... around the Crisis area. I miss that. Yeah, but this is an MMO, and they, like, if you want good water, you need to have, like, stuff that can interact with the water. There's nothing That's like that true. here. A boat is just a static I mean, object in this game that just floats well, in, in the air. I think they've explicitly said that the areas with waves, they don't want to put them in areas where the objects that are on the water would be affected by the movement of the waves because it will look <laughs> unnatural. In this area, this is clearly something that's like bolted to the ground or underwater, so it won't yeah. be affected by the wave physically. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Um, then oh, we travel. Oh, they stared at this little man for about an hour. We tra we traveled to Drybone, <laughs> and I was so excited because I wanted to see like old zones, like what they look like, because they they have gone back and like fixed them and like updated them as well. We didn't go anywhere in Drybone. We looked at this uh, leave meat uh, Lalafell um, for one specific reason. That's because they've added like tiny eye movements to NPCs mm. to make them look Looks more alive. Good. And it's it looks good, and it's stuff again. No one expected this. No one asked for this, but they wanted to put it in because it made them look more alive. And, They'll just uh, like yeah. glance around every now and then. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, and they're you know they, said... we do that with our eyes, like we, like we move. Yeah, in. no one stares direct. Well, some people do, but <laughs> most people can't bring themselves to stare at something for long periods of time without even the the minutest of shifts in their eye eyesight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, that's something you'll see on all NPCs, but it will be restricted. It won't happen in G-Posts, and it won't happen in cutscenes, uh, unless no, they unless specifically they, add yeah. it. Yeah. Which we have seen in cutscenes already. I like that. They have already played yeah. with this in cutscenes already. But um, <clears throat> Okay, um, so that's uh, that was Drybone. What I noticed, though, while he was standing there, is that something that i'm surprised he he didn't talk about at all during this well he might have like mentioned it but like he didn't focus on more is the new lighting system that we get in this um update because while he was standing in dry bone you know there's there you can see it in the in the top left but there's also like near the door behind the lalafell um there are braziers that are on lit mm. and as the flames flickered so too did the like the light on the mm. on the wall like was moving with the uh, and it's just, you know, we're getting. That's good. It's our game is catching up. <laughs> we're, yeah. we're we're leaving the PS3 era. We're, yeah, we're, um, we're never in tonight's one quality torches now. Yeah, because <laughs> uh, that's a big deal. Like remember, back currently in the game, they can only have one light source, uh, and then the rest have to be like fake lights. You know, like glows. Yeah. Um, it's a it's a sorely needed graphics update when you know when other MMOs have done their graphics updates. Yeah, it, it's just revitalized them visually. Yeah, just, I general. think it's higher than one light source. But it was like it's not. It's very low. It's like three. three I think. Yeah, yeah I think it's it was not three. much. Yeah, I think it's. But, I'm pretty sure it's three because you can have one. You can only add two directed light sources in a house. Yeah. Exclude. So that's already accounting for the default light source. I remember mm -hmm. when he talked about it, like especially like outdoors. The one, so technically they only have two because the number one light source is the sun. Yeah, mm. so it's a global one. Yeah. Um, so that's changing, obviously. I, th I don't know how many light sources we get now. I think everything is a light source now. If it has a light, it's a light source. I think that's essentially what we're getting. So uh, yeah. very exciting. Um, that's a pretty big leap, honestly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Then he traveled here, and the dev team was no, they were nervous around him because he didn't yeah. really. They didn't really want him to go here, but he did. Um, to uh, I think he out. wanted to, and yeah. they set it up for him. Yes, um, but they said, "Don't go there. Don't turn and your camera there. over there." And then you can hear Foxclaw like nervously laughing, it's like, "I'm oh, you maybe, <laughs> maybe you shouldn't show <laughs> that." Um, so yeah looks good we've kind of seen this before uh this like place i think but pretty much it's just the beach area like we've seen it in screenshots and i think the fly through yeah to show like how busy it, it would be yeah it's dead at the moment but yes uh there was like a fountain and there's with a the fountain jar. with nothing in it yeah there's no water in the in the fountain which is interesting yeah I mean, the fountains, they, they, it's not a thing in our game no famously it's, it's true <laughs> Uh, the, the fountains are impossible. How how uh, do they work? They they yeah, it's not a real thing. That would be funny if this was like a joke for that. that they just decided, well, we'll not do any. <laughs> every... 
the, there's also um like he, he pointed out look at all of the stuff in this picture like which would have been impossible yeah. with the current uh, engine like we you can't have this much uh, foliage in with our current system um which is yeah. true. this is a lot going on um and it's so vertical oh this was good and then he turned it into the night time it has such a nice soft glow it's very soft Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which Uh, i I really appreciated it was closer to individual lights of the lanterns yeah 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 they could have messed that up quite quite badly if they made them too bright yeah is this lit is there a giant flame in there wrong can energy yeah a ronkin energy, of course. That's it looks what it like is. a ronkin, <laughs> yeah. ronkin, ronkin energy from the first is powering uh, this. Um, yeah, well, black and white moment. Uh, yeah, please, thank you. I mean, I already <laughs> deserve one for something in this episode. You yeah. said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Maybe the Allegans just went very Aztec when they got here with their mm. architecture for some reason. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Um, then he went up here and very clearly may is told well he didn't say i think no he showed there's pegs on the on the wall this is a jumping puzzle to get up to mm. this uh, mm. this uh, spot um and he also pointed out that that tower over there is a jumping puzzle as well so mm. there are at least two jump puzzles in uh, Toliolal um that you can look forward to i guess and we're mm. probably going to try to do if them we exp- yeah if we experience another Rauban extreme or the equivalent, um, oh, uh, don't so entertain you for a period of time. Don't put that in. I'll be. It. I'm not playing the game anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that happens again. Um, you can then... see those funny rock things on the left. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. He didn't really want to look at it too much, so he I was think very he coy. Was trying to hide that. It so. doesn't look that bad from this distance. Like obviously, this game it, things at a distance look a little bit shit. Yeah, you it doesn't s- look too bad. Like when it was in motion, still, it didn't look too bad. No, well, which is impressive. Yeah, there's there's still like you can see that the shadows don't apply to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, over there. But it's not like. But it's more shadows it's a lot, than If you this would. was in the game now, it would be a flickering mess. Yeah, it would mm. be like. It'd be horrible. And the shadows would stop, oh. like, at that, like, courtyard oh, yeah. below, you know? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Be rubbish. I think people in our chat were also just noting how high up this must be. So the scale of zones might be... Oh, it's so oh, vertical. True. Lots of verticality. Mm-hmm. Always nice. Mm-hmm. It is nice. As far that this is the, the, the city where people will just hang out. Yeah. It's quite big for that. It is. It is. Um, now... Next is something that's a little unfortunate, I think, because he called so much attention to it. But he was gonna, sh- he wanted to show us this and said it was amazing um, that <laughs> we had this fruit. And he said no more like polygonal grapes. And then there are no grapes in the picture. Uh, yeah. Which I guess that's true. <laughs> then there are no polygonal grapes because there are no grapes to begin with. But it also calls attention to that shadowless urn. Right there. <laughs> no, listen. The it's slightly, yeah, slightly blurry texture and mm. a perfect shadow underneath it. That's yeah. what's happening. Yeah. In all honesty, the fruit doesn't yeah. look that good. <laughs> like, you don't. It's know. very. It's so waxy. Like, like if I true. if I was showing something off, I would show off the that burlap sack mm. or well, the I think barrel. It's the com- I think it's a combination of the different models. The idea that they could have this many, That's even true. at this level yeah. of detail, is quite difficult to imagine. Like most fruit stalls in our game, this is just like a f- maybe a f- one or two flat gr- one monocolored surfaces. That's true. Yeah. That is, yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it, it looks nice, but it's not like... This is not supposed to be looked at this closely, I guess. No, exactly. Right? It's just, It'll it's, just look it's, nice and passive. It's set design. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, no, they're real things that the people use in the world. Account. Well, they want you to think that, and I, I would buy. Like, I would think this is. Yeah, I wouldn't. Well, that's good. It's better than the alternative, well, which is a, just a flat JPEG. Which would be quite messy, and what you know, the green fruit. Um, oh, um, uh, that's a big dragon nut. fruit. Oh, unripe, dragon fruit. unripe jackfruit. Uh, uh. Durian? I don't think it's durian. Durians are spiky. Not durian. 
It's like that the green kind of <clears throat> have like overlapping shells almost kind of fruit, you know? Mm. I what it's called. I'm sure someone will have to find it out. Someone will tell us in the <laughs> comments. Um Okay. Uh, and then more technological advancements in this game. We have Rollo D D's nuts. But also oh. no. <laughs> DLSS. DLSS. Or AMD oh. Sorry, sorry. This is such like if you have uh poopy PC. <laughs> AMD's <laughs> one works, I think it works on most graphics cards. Like from at least from quite a few years ago. DLSS works only on the RTX cards. Yes. So yeah. you'll need a you know, you you can probably run the game anyway if you've got a an RTX card. But if you you know, if you can't run the game very well with these changes to the graphics. Chuck this on, because yeah. it's the greatest Magic. technology of all Magic. time. It'll run the game at like 480p, but it will upscale it with the beauty of AI magic and make yeah. it look 1440p. And it's pretty good. It's like it's pretty it's, impressive tech. Yeah. It's a shame though that <clears throat> FSR is only 1.0 and not 2.0. It is vastly improved in 2.0, and a lot of people they just will continue to work on it. I'm sure they'll they'll, they'll yeah, yeah. They'll implement and it. I, I think there's like a workaround to to like uh, messing around with files to get 2.0 to work in a lot of games. But um, yeah, it's it's this will be great for the Steam Deck, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, that I too. Can imagine like, for, yeah. yeah, for any kind of if you you know if you can't play the game in you know, if you want to look at it in 4K, yep. but run it at 60 plus FPS, mm. there you go. Yeah. Um, so there you go. Uh, good, good stuff. Um, there's also uh, a dynamic resolution uh, slider um, that you can see there. Wouldn't, we... wouldn't recommend that probably. I think we have a. Okay. Oh, sorry. There, there's the screen. Uh, the 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 options. The dynamic resolution feels like uh, uh, something that will cause a lot of chittering it's uh I'd, i still can't tell when it's on in game now in its current form right okay well, that's fair. Yeah, i don't know if it's well they it's doing they did job say or... that this should be much better than what it is in its current form yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, give it a go if you want but best thing to do is find a scale that gives you the performance you want and looks how you want and then just keep it at that yeah push up that sharpness yeah uh, so there you go. If you have an NVIDIA card, you the DLSS is the 2.0 one. It's so, a good version. Yeah. And if you don't have one, then you have an older card, FSR. Yeah. It's gonna, you know, it's gonna make your experience better. Yeah. Um. So so here we go with restrictions to console. Now I said this during the live stream. I prefer that they do this, where they like they limit the the systems that can't run certain things instead of holding everyone back. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah. the uh, PlayStation 4, this is base PlayStation 4, by the way. So quite an, uh, you know, an old console at this point. Uh, to reduce stress on the PlayStation 4, super sampling will be reduced while dynamic resolution and LOD uh, will be forcibly enabled. So there's already now graphical restrictions on the PS4. And for the mm -hmm. Xbox Series S, um, LODs for shadows will be forcibly enabled. So well, the Xbox Series S, lol. Yeah, that is yeah. already getting restrictions. Well, that is the the lowest tier. Xbox, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's current that's gen. But it is current gen. Yeah, it is current. That is true. That is it is current gen. So it's kind of sad, but that, that's what it is. It, it's it's baby. Um, mm -hmm. So that is it for the graphical update. Um, mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Also, we talked about it when we saw this, but I we I don't think anyone confirmed. But do we know that the PS4 is going to get cut in 8.0 because this certainly looks like the path to the end mm. for I think the they just I, said they, they tried to rest assured that it will continue, it will continue until through, at least then at least until 8.0 I think so I that's think what they said I think the fact that they they're, never said it would, they're scaling back so much now and this is the first graphics update 
I think we the di we can start putting down like our bets now on whether or not oh, yeah. the PS4 will survive another expansion. I think it's coming to an end. No, this is for yeah, the base yeah, PS4, uh, not PS4 Pro. For an end, yeah. Yeah, I I think it'll stick around for a while. Honestly, it's just mm. it's such a big I, install base, and the PS5 so was the PS3 Rollo. PS3 uh, install base was huge well, at the time. The but it was nowhere near the PS4's size. I think the PS4 will be continue to be supported through 8.x, and then that'll that be would it. surprise. That's me. how I feel. But we'll see. Time will. That's two years mean, from now. The PS4 will be like, an old man at that point. These do feel like pretty mm. minor limitations as well. I mean, I'm, I say, I I'm saying this. Don't worry, PS4 people. Again, that's two years in the future. Uh, also, the reason I'm saying this is this is the first graphics update. I am expecting a graphics update for the next expansion as well. Oh, 100%. And so mm -hmm. that might be at a point where there will be so many restrictions to the base PS4 that it's better to just cut it. But we'll see. Uh, also, the PS5 is way more available now. And who knows, two years from now, the PS5 might be super... I mean, there's a new PS5 coming out. like PS6. The... <laughs> no, not no. There's a new <laughs> version right, of the PS5, like the slim and version the Xbox, is coming out. The Xbox Zero Point One, right? Or some shit. Right, 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 right. Mm. So, anyways, that's the Xbox. Sorry, no, not the Xbox. the Xbox. That's the graphics update section. Uh, and so, what could possibly be next? Maybe the end. Maybe it's time to look at merch, or maybe the 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 data that they had um, teased. No, no, no. Blacklist improvements. Ooh. This came out of nowhere. Yes. Yeah. I'm not expecting this today. And Highly requested feature. Yes. Very requested. And indeed. just like well, the graphics. They... Yeah, go on. They said it was highly requested, but they said they only started implementing uh, like just over six months ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but Yoshi P's always had an interest in like a. He, he's never wanted he's to. He's been put... difficult on this because he, he understands the need for it, but he also understands the. You know, social nature he, of an MMO. He doesn't like the idea of like being able to block out m yeah. people uh, because this is supposed to like mimic real life. It's kind of like exactly. remember that Black Mirror episode where you could do that in real life. You could block oh, yeah. people out. <laughs> no. So he was. I, that I think was this his... should be standard in most games anyway. He, he explained I mean, really that. Should, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. This is this is good, but I I'm trying. You know, I can see his point of view here. Yeah, uh, exactly. So, uh, coming with a 7.0, the enhanced there's enhanced blacklist functionality, mute list, term filter, estate expulsion feature, and enhanced lodestone privacy settings. We'll go through all of them. Um, so, uh, the first part is enhanced blacklist functionality, and this is the uh, the Black Mirror uh, one. In addition to the blacklisted character's message, their character model will now also be hidden. This will apply to all characters tied to the blacklisted character's service account, applicable to characters registered from 7.0 onward. Um, oh, that's just game. spaghetti code for the having to. So, if you've got someone on there you hate, yeah, re add them from yes. 7.0, yeah. and then it will take the fat, but yeah. Yeah. Really good. The fact that they're hidden. Yes. Very useful. They're just gone from the game. Those big issues that Except we've talked about before. Blacklisted characters will be displayed in certain situations where visibility is necessary, such as when partied together in a duty. Even when their character model is visible, their name will display as unknown in the party list and on their nameplate. Furthermore, a notification will indicate when they speak during duties, and players may elect to temporarily see what they've written via the sub-command menu. This is totally fine so for he, me. So he explained that, that was, it was too much, like, it, spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Like, they can't, like, have you not match with someone you, who's Yeah, blacklisted. you can't... The system's can't, too complicated yeah. for it to, like, figure that out. This is a perfectly acceptable solution, though. I think so. Other than the fact that you'll you'll potentially see someone you don't want to see, you won't have to acknowledge them, and you won't see anything they say, and you mm. just get on with your duty. Yeah. I think it's yeah. a good compromise. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah. I agree. Um, I feel like we're going to see an increase in people unknown attempting to trick people into thinking that they're people they've blocked. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's going to happen. That's sure. true. But oh. it has a message attached to it, which is... It'll that's tell true. you that it's But real. I still think people will have that, like, in instinctive reaction. Yes. Yeah, maybe. It's the unknown. It's the unknown. Wait, wait, wait. Can I... Uh, I wonder... Can I become like the most blocked person out there? Like, can I, <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I request everyone in the future, everyone watching, please... 
block me. Spread. Yeah. Tell everyone to block me. Would yeah, you I really want to be the loneliest Final Fantasy XIV player? I want to become the weird outlier on their statistics. Yeah, you'll be so lonely, you Rollo. You'll be so lonely. You'll never. I want. I want to be the most blocked player ever for no particular reason. I think it'd be very funny. Yeah, I, mean, I, good idea. If, I mean, like, if sure. you get blacklisted enough, they will investigate you. I feel as if they do that with IMT. <laughs> Probably. That would be good. Oh god, yeah, they'll just get be your looking at Rollins. He's done nothing. Yeah. He's literally done nothing. And he's just been blacklisted constantly. Just dozens and dozens. Yeah. Just blocking this. Like, what is this guy I don't know if you I want don't... this out there, Rollo. I might actually edit this no, out. No, I don't either. No, no, keep it I in. Listen, I'll, I'll If you lose no, your I'm account angry. over this, that's pretty significant. That's, you're, out, you're out of this channel. Uh, yeah, you're out of this channel not, at that not, point. It's not a report. It's different. It's not a report. Don't block him. He's an idiot right now. Don't, he doesn't know what he's saying. Do it. It'd be funny. No. Okay. Uh, anyways, also adding a mute list. You, uh, you can mute him, though, chat. Uh, that I agree with. You can mute him. Remember, Rollo, it's account-wide. If they block you on your alt, you're blocked all Everyone. over. Uh, imagine it. The most blocked account ever. What a title. <laughs> no one would I know because they wouldn't see you. No one would know. <laughs> You'd be you alone in your misery. Answer. You'd be just, hey, yeah, I, guys, I, I talking into the void. <laughs> hey, guys. Hello, question oh. mark. <laughs> just uh, doing dungeons with unknowns constantly. Hey. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Does anyone want to find my <laughs> wind on your shoulder? It'd be my own little Truman show. I think it'd be great. <laughs> okay. Um, hide unmuted characters, chat messages, applicable to characters blacklisted prior to 7.0. So this is the more standard. This is the, I mean essentially how blacklist works now i think um but this is a new this is we'll get this to a, a new thing there are two okay this will be explained in a second but yeah so the blacklist is the most severe that's the one characters yeah, gone, they don't expect you to add a lot of people to blacklist right they expect you to use this for like you start if here. someone's annoying you a bit yeah you you'll start, start here but yeah. if someone's like harassing you you'll use blacklist yeah uh, this will essentially just make sure that their messages don't appear, but their their character will still be there, their nameplate will still be there, and all that shit. This is for like, this is for like RMT maybe, maybe. Um, or people that are just like spamming like FC stuff in mm. or, yeah, or their fucking um, stuff yeah. event uh, where they've got DJ Croxy is there, you know, D and DJ Iceball is <laughs> there, yeah. all the yeah, the greatest Final uh, Fantasy fourteen DJs. Yeah. You know what I'm doing? First day of the expansion, I'm logging in. I'm going to go to Limsa, spend like a good hour just muting and blocking people. <laughs> oh. The, and then I'll be I, set for the rest of like the next Your life. Of. Yeah. I thought you were going to just say a bunch of annoying things in Limsa so you could get your dream <laughs> of being blocked by hundreds no. of people. Hello. No, I just want them to do it out of the kindness of their heart. Rollo and Limsa. Oh. Um, okay, muted characters' names will display as normal when in the same party or alliance during duties. A notification will indicate when they speak, and players may elect to temporarily see what they've written via the subcommand menu. Again, during dungeons, because it might be necessary to read what they're saying if there's a tactic or whatever. Um, okay, so here's uh, how this works. So blacklist. So there, they are two separate lists, and you can hold two characters per list. Um, so your Ooh, blacklist. Hundreds. Yeah, 200 characters. Uh, so, character blacklisted at any time prior to 7.0 will be carried forward. They will be kept in the blacklist. Up to 200 characters can be registered, and the data is stored server-side. So, characters will remain blacklisted across all platforms, but as character names are saved client-side, their names will only display when playing on the device they were registered on. Um, and then for the mute list... The data is stored client side, so characters will only be muted on the device they were initially mm -hmm. registered on. So, um, I wonder if this can be um, uploaded to the cloud settings that they have now. I hope so. Mm. It would make sense to. Yeah. Oh, it's already a stupid enough system that it can't save your hotbar configs and stuff. So they might as well add this to that whole system. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh shit. Uh, sorry. Um, so um, for term filters, uh, this is probably the most useful for me, uh, for most people, I think. You can have certain terms uh, muted. Um, Finally. Persona. So yeah. like Persona and yeah. um, RMT, like common RMT word phrases. Uh, yeah, maybe. or hello. Salut. Salut. <laughs> 
Uh, oh, maybe if you like uh, <laughs> use the same as like the Xbox One, you can get the Xbox Experience. On right, your desktop. free company. Oh yeah. Uh, can mm. can have that muted. Uh. Um. <sighs> Georgi. Yeah, I would. <laughs> I would probably block Georgi's name. Uh, okay, so yeah, applies to say, tell, yell, shout, and emote in all circumstances, including duties. Will not apply to link shell, cross world link shell, party, or free company chat, and the data is stored client side. Mm. Yeah, you get all the Georgies you want in there. That's true, um, but I'll just uh, I'll just blacklist anyone who says it. I guess I'll have to do some manual. I'm going to blacklist right. Georgie. Start the source. What a strange. <laughs> that would be a strange for streams. <laughs> can we, can like, we all blacklist each other? Let's, you know? like, yeah, let's, yeah. Sh sure. Do it all, yeah, just, remember, it's, I mean, remember it's permanent though. Remember it's permanent. You yeah. can't unblack someone. Guys. Do, do minimum my level with it. I think we fine. Oh, that's a new. Yeah, that could be a new wheel of <laughs> doom with, modifier. I mean, it doesn't we really do anything. Yeah. It's not like we talk. But we have chat. to mute ourselves on Discord, <laughs> so we we just can't be muted. The most boring uh, <laughs> minimum my level ever. No, but also you're blindfolded, Lucio. So I'll just run into a wall in silence. Yeah. For yeah. two hours. Yeah. We're so creative. You know? we're, yeah. We're, we're so creative. You can't. Mela was joking. Black, you can, you can of you course, can't unblacklist a person. Don't you worry. You can unblacklist Yogi if you do it for a joke. Yeah. Okay. So this is a big one that a lot of people wanted um, the estate expulsion feature. Characters who are added to the no entry list while within your estate grounds will be expelled from the grounds immediately immediately characters added to the no entry list will be unavailable to enter the estate for 10 days applies to all characters on an expelled character's service account so this is for like people that are trolling on time. in venues and stuff you can you can easily get them out that has been a problem i think it's good for, that it, for a lot of i know some people would probably say why can't i expel them forever which is fair but I think mm. this is a pretty good system well they do it's basically it's troublemakers really this is this is for like mm. Just a venue, exactly. like exactly. maybe you're doing. I don't know. I don't know what kind of venue. You can um, you can blacklist them afterwards once you kick them, and then once you, you blacklist them. someone, yeah. they are always exactly expelled from yeah. the grounds. So, yeah, this is definitely a very exactly. common complaint for like community events where there would always be like you know someone just being an asshole or agitating. Yeah, you yeah. just couldn't really do anything, even though like it's your house. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's pretty unfair. Yeah, like you couldn't. I think yeah. if you locked it too, it just. It didn't do anything. No, <laughs> people can come in. Yeah. But... For people that are like running, like the people that run like plays in game, like you'll be able to like just kick them out if people are like storming the stage. Yes. Uh, free company masters and estate owners will have access to this function. Free company masters and estate owners can design designate up to four free company members or housemates to have access to this function. So you yeah. Us. Yeah, yeah. Us, I guess. So we'll be able to kick everyone who we don't want in the free company mm -hmm. house. I mm -hmm. think maybe there are maybe Mela's not getting this. Uh, Why? <laughs> because you're gonna troll with it. I know you're gonna troll I, with it. Who? You love. You're a gremlin sometimes, we... and you. This is. Oh, you, I'm not a gremlin. You're gonna go gremlin mode we're with not, this. We're not gonna call out the viewers that you would do this to on no. the podcast. No, but I know what you will do. I'm not gonna do anything. Um. When players with expulsion privileges are in the estate, anyone registered to their blacklist will be automatically expelled when attempting to enter the estate grounds. So there, there's that as well, uh, which is good. Um, there's also this, which is huge, enhanced lodestone privacy oh, yeah. settings. Because um, we know that a lot of witch hunting has happened um, where people fought, like, mm -hmm. you can never change your lodestone address even if you change your name your profile id is always the mm. same so once they have that they have your character forever so every time you change name they can just go into that link and see what your new name is and then continue to harass you um yeah. so that has uh, changed now uh greater control over privacy settings limit who can view certain aspects of your lodestone character page such as your profile achievements and friends visibility settings can be limited to friends free company members link shell members etc and most importantly remove yourself you can remove yourself from the lodestone character searches that's big because that is big. 
Um, so maybe in chat was saying that if you have the URL, you can probably still find them, but I I don't know if that's true or not. It may make your page not show up at all, even if you have the URL. It says Tests visibility needed. settings can be limited to friends, which means you need yeah. to log in. And if you're not I, a friend, I think, then I think you can. I think you can still. I think you can make this work. Yeah. So that is actually a good point. This will ruin the census, but the census website yeah, will break. Minor. But yeah, but to be that's honest, the thing that. Yeah. As yeah. interesting as the census results are, nothing gets done with them. It doesn't go anywhere. It's just nice no. to know, so whatever. Yeah, they, and Square they're... Enix still has Square Enix still has that information yeah. internally. Yeah. Because I mean we'll get we're gonna see some of those weird stats that they have later on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well we're not real we'll, stats. we'll mention them. We're not actually gonna go through them uh today. Yeah. Uh, no. no. I mean look at the time. They were all pointless. Yeah. Um, Ooh, they weren't. <laughs> they, were, they were. They were good. Though. Um, they also added a block list to the lodestone, so notifications regarding the activity on blog entries of blocked players will no longer display. Blocked players will be unable to see your activity, and the oh. above settings will also apply to characters added to your in-game blacklist. So. So basically, um, you that can really disappear. Only applies to Japanese players. Yeah, because they're the only people who use the blog entry tool. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I I don't think I have read a blog entry since like a no. Realm Reborn, you know. But I think it's know. I think Japanese players use it a lot more than they use yeah, it all the time. They, they use it, yeah. It's for them. But English um, people, you used to use it very rarely. You'd see guides of like crafting guides and stuff yeah. that people would link to. That's about it. Early but in a Realm Reborn, no I one uses that anymore. No. Yeah. Yeah, Lucille's early blogs are fantastic. Oh yeah, my my Dear early diary <laughs> went to Amdepo Keep today. <laughs> it was really scary. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Good stuff. A lot of people have been wanting better uh, block lists uh, or blacklists. So here it is, folks. Seven point oh. You can finally have some privacy. Um, okay. Any now over to something completely different. Uh, oh, the greatest event of all time! Go go yokai! Yokai and watch. Everyone, make sure to pay attention to the little, little devil, little devilish, little cutie pie there on the right hand side. Manjima, the uh, Manjima. Look at him; he's so cute with his drunk face and his horrible ears. He's so horrible. His human face. I hate him. I love him. I think he's amazing. Uh, so these are, uh, th this event is returning. We'll look more at the calendar in a bit. Um, but yeah, you, you knew this. You can get a framers time. kit. You get a framers kit for you from Yokai Watch. This the, yeah, this is the only new thing they showed. Hopefully we'll be seeing new weapons and minions related to the new jobs that were added since the last time they ran this event. Yeah. Because if yeah. they don't, it'll it's be a bit disappointing. Yeah. Very <laughs> disappointed if they don't add the new weapons. Yeah. Um, okay, so here is what's happening. I like this. Coming f going forward. <clears throat> so the Yokai Watch event. So the 16 event is currently running. The Yokai Watch event starts on the 24th of April on Wednesday. So when yeah. this episode is up on YouTube, that's when this should be. Uh... Oh no, sorry, this is the 24th. It's a, a week from when. A week. Yeah, from, a week from when. Yeah, yeah. Um, Yokai Watch. Um, that goes on until. The twenty sixth of June, no twenty. Yeah, that is that ages. what it means? Yeah. It's a little twenty sixth of June. Twenty sixth of June. Yep, the, it goes on until the the forty eight hour maintenance before before dawn, before dawn trail. Yeah. If you've not done a yokai watch event before, you need quite a lot of that time. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's a very intense, very beautiful no. time. Yeah. Not as much as you used to need, because actually, I think this event is still shorter than the original. Oh yeah, yeah they yeah, reduced yeah. the number of uh, tokens in there. requirements. Yeah, 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 they did. It was really good back in the old days when you know you had to really try it wasn't hard and really do it. And then Lukeil ruined it by getting it later on. <laughs> uh, no, I did it at the same time as you, Mela. Um, uh -huh. The uh, uh -huh. Moogle treasure trove. You know that. You know that's measurable based on the date you got the achievement. Yeah, yeah Luke King. Yeah, but and you can't block your lowstone page yet because I, they haven't This is my yet. revenge because Mela did the same fucking thing with the <laughs> earrings, the the <laughs> Mandreville earrings. I am allowed to oh, do that. Oh yeah. Well, they gave I mean, us those no for free. Tied to that. <laughs> the lamest looking earrings too. Okay. They are shit. The little are, red ones are so ugly. They are ugly. They're literally I'm just normal when earrings. When I buy. For 
five pounds on the mug station when i buy the legacy tattoo i can't wait for your expression uh, i can't i don't care legacy <laughs> shit you know, is over you know to this day i still want to wear the white ravens because people got so upset about it it's, it's just so funny <laughs> it's my favorite because of that now yeah um okay so moogle treasure trove starts on the 14th uh, of uh, may um the second yes. part so uh you can you I can there'll, there'll be a post shortly before then with the rewards on that we'll go over yeah looking uh, forward to it better than the first time oh for hopefully the, there'll be the even one time. new thing yeah um it's interesting this doesn't oh no oh. oh, okay wait go yeah. We're going. We're going. Things. We're going back to the to the start. Uh, oh okay. no! Well, it's in, well. Why don't <laughs> you do that? Go. It's interesting that the hunt for Genesis um, does not run all the way till the forty-eight hour maintenance. It only runs until two days before the forty-eight hour maintenance. I don't know why they couldn't have just let it kept, keep going until the servers are down. I don't. Yeah. Know. Very strange. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, it's not on screen right now. Oh God! Look at the memories from from earlier, right? Remember what earlier we're, today? Yeah, earlier today. Yeah, this yeah. makes you nostalgic. I remember these memories from twice earlier today. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, May um, on May fifteenth, fifth, huh? Sixteenth. Yeah, on May fifteenth, the media tour begins, which will be running until thirtieth. Oh, yeah, yes. Uh, the American media tour will be held in LA. The European media tour will be held outside Berlin. <laughs> in oh, yeah. Portsdam, in right Portsdam outside, outside of Berlin. Berlin in Europe. Potsdam. That's how they, they worded that. Potsdam near Berlin near in Berlin, Europe. In Europe. <laughs> so, you, know, you know that? Yeah, yeah. That, that place in Europe. Um, so yeah, that's when that uh, starts uh, 15th until the 30th. So two weeks uh, plus one day. Um, May Back 15th to Brandenburg. On the same day, Make It Rain returns. Um, so it lasts until May 31st. Um, and then on the 16th, we have a, another live letter. Live letter 82. Um, Whoa, 81. 81. Sorry, 81. I'm way ahead of my notes. Um, which will go through job updates and previews uh, for we some should almost certainly get the job trip job preview trailer yes yeah yeah and he'll that's the yeah. day after the media tour begins yes uh, and then there will be a little bit of a break uh, i mean in stuff that's happening and then uh, on the 5th of june june uh, dragon quest 10 uh returns Yay. a very old event coming back uh, get your boob hat yeah get the you don't have the boob hat have... yeah uh, puff puff sorry oh yeah uh, on June fourteenth, we get Live Letter eighty two. Uh, so mm -hmm. we're getting um, more information about seven point zero. That will be the last one before the launch. And then there's a forty eight hour maintenance le leading up to Dawn Trail uh, on the twenty sixth uh, of uh, mm. June. That's good. The reason for the forty eight hour maintenance is because they want to give everyone the chance to fully download the game because they say it will be quite a large download. The internal yes. maintenance on their own servers will not take 48 hours. Right. I'm right. fine I with that. I appreciate you de deleting some of the notes. That'll ever matter again. No, it was just annoying me. Um, okay. <laughs> Uh, and then they showed some uh, moving on. That's so. That's what you can look forward to. Yay! Plates. Lacquerware like design plates. Plates. Oh. Uh, lacquerware. Uh, you guys like plates? You guys like, like classic Japanese lacquerware? Are you like, like something... plate? an no. eighty-year-old grandmother? I like, uh, I like <laughs> eating things directly off of napkins. Yeah. Uh, I don't wow. like. I don't hate the Meteon one design-wise, aesthetically. Um, I'm higher on the Bahamut one than you seem to be. I don't I, think like, I don't hate it, but like I think the the Bahamut one looks like a, a display item. Um but if you were served that in a restaurant you'd think it was a bit busy. It wouldn't it doesn't feel I very also, like yeah, but... Japanese compared to the other one which does have like a, an aesthetic as a plate as well and that's actually very important in like a web plate. The Meteon one I think is cute. Yeah, the Bahamut one if if I had food served on that 
I'd 100% expect that gold to just like flake off yeah. into my food. Mm. Yeah, ex I agree. But I would never catch these as plates. No, 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 no. no. no, no. These no. Are it's something like my dad collects, I'm pretty sure. This and like random glass animals. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, glass mm. oh, speaking of glass animals, I have a glass dolphin statue at home. You have a, sp a what? Uh, excuse me? A glass what? A glass dolphin statue oh. at home. Oh, that's yeah. nice. You know, to match my glass, not glass, but dolphin. Oh, my, my glass blanket. Yeah. <laughs> very very interesting. And warm. Uh, okay, they showed this picture as well with, with a plate more, yeah. that is not for sale. So, Why did they show this? Oh, okay. Well, I so, think what we could be. Yeah. And who's, what kind of gourmet, like A5 fucking wagyu slab are you eating of that beast? Like, Jesus Christ, look at it. <laughs> It's massive. Yeah, yeah. It's also, yeah, it's also not set straight. Like, it's, it's. What? No, it is set straight. Imagine eating like ketchup no. and spam on that plate. God. Look at the ground. <laughs> ketchup and spam. Ketchup, ketchup and spam. That's what you have on this. What a meal. <laughs> yummy. <laughs> yummy, yummy. I think it's very what fitting a, for that plate. A, I was going to say it's a very Hawaiian meal. <laughs> yeah. I spent four hundred and fifty dollars on my massive Bahamut plate. <laughs> Time to and eat. Now, well, I, I, I apologize to the state of Hawaii for what Gurgit just said. I'm sure that it, I, it, it, they, they love spam. spam. Yeah, they love spam. No, but ketchup spam. and spam on a, a such a big plate is, makes it sound that's that's all they want. The delicious I think sauce you're not of ketchup in their culture. That's what. Yeah, right. You right. never had the classic ketchup and spam poke bowl, like. Mm. Well, that's more. That's, you know, at least just that's... Just catch it. No, it's a soup of just cat... Wrenched in ketchup. Anyways, custom oh, order photo book. Memories of Light, uh, which is Japan exclusive. Oh, yeah, this shit. Guys. This is cool. It's so cool. It's like, um... There were loads of websites like this. I don't know if they still exist where, like, you'd get, you know, your holiday photos turned into a book or your wedding photos into a book. Yeah. I think they've all disappeared now, but this is a nice one for your mm. in-game G poses. Yeah, mm. but of course only available do... to Japan. Japan. Yeah. Uh, Japan oh, I like this. They took a screenshot of the first room of um, Delubrum Regine. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, okay, uh, and then. Wow. Oh, Deliciously hot is this floor, tank floor tank consomme. Floor tank consomme. Consomme. Consume. What a! <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm just not culturally uh, aware enough to to process this. You know, it's not in my cultural lexicon. <clears throat> This is just potato chips or popoto chips, sorry. Um, wave two, yeah, which is funny me. because when they made the first batch, they made too few. They sold out too fast. And then when they made the second one, they made too many. And so now if you buy one, you get one for uh, one I batch. Can't for believe, free. I, I can't believe they were shilling deals on <laughs> potato chips. <laughs> Guys, we've got so many consummate potato chips. They are sold out again. Oh, they're sold out again. Are they? Oh, oh, maybe yeah. you shouldn't they'll have handed out one for free then. Don't worry, there'll be a there'll be a third round. Yeah. And then they'll make too many, and then it'll be buy one get two free. Yes, yes. Um, okay. Uh, then they also brought up this figure again. Again, we've talked about it before. It's very expensive, and also it a lot of people just get it broken. So. Uh. These Meister quality figures sure are a kind of quality. Mm -mm -mm. They're all right. Mm -mm. They... I mean, they're not like... I mean, legendary. I like their design, but they look... Yeah, like yeah it's just don't ever look too close to the faces. I just... Every time. They look good from this distance. Yeah. yeah. I think some of the detailing on them also is nice, like the, yeah. the wings and the... Oh, yeah. It's just... It's a fox clone statue. Yeah. That's true. But when he's split, he's split at this point. Mm. Yeah. He's so in his personalities. Yeah. <laughs> but don't worry, guys. It's really worth it for the um, amount. So don't worry about this. this <laughs> I love this. This is such a strange collaboration. Planetarium I show. Hate this. A tale of a yours is divine and celestial. It's so weird. Uh, voiced by Graha Tia's voice actor. Uh, Japanese voice actor. Japanese, obviously, yes. Um, this is in Japan only. Um, for some reason, you can either go to the singular planetariums in uh, Nagoya or Ikebukuro, but the plural planetaria in, in Yokohama. Yokohama. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, so there you go. Uh, that's Japan only, of course. Also, they spend some time. Uh, <clears throat> um, we'll be playing this, guys. Make sure to promoting check us out on sixteen. This is, the, mm-hmm. this is the new one, right? Yeah, this is the, new. yeah this is the second part. Of he the got permission, season. I think, from the producer. He of did the joke. 16, didn't he? he did the joke. Yes. So, thank you, Yoshi P. I've already point, I pointed <laughs> out this book, this out before. It's an unnecessarily spoilery screenshot for them to use. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I, I feel like I am being spoiled on something. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think even showing <laughs> Ultima. Yeah, a it's a lot. Really, I mean, really uh, really I will say Ultima. it's not spoilery yeah. unless you say what's in the screenshot. I was just about to say it, so thanks, Mela. Uh, <laughs> you did just throw away the name. Yeah, one of the things in this picture. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. You um, okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. Bleep him in the the the. Yeah, I'll have to. Yeah, <laughs> bleep me right after. Too. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna. Yeah, so you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this. Shock. I'm gonna cut this bit out. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. And next, and last, oh. they are hiring again um, for marketing marketing planner and community planner. And this is for Japan. I want to know so. what other marketing planners they have other than MMORPG marketing planners working for Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, yeah. I am, I am curious about this because I, I don't think we covered it, but I think it was this earlier this month or maybe last month. They're doing a pretty big shakeup in terms of organization at Square Enix right now. And uh, yes, how... They are divisions are done it's not um mm-hmm. or or business unit sorry so they're going to be getting a lot more uh younger faces these days so maybe it ties into well, that a bunch maybe? of the, some a bunch of the senior members are also getting promotions as well yeah oh, there you go. I, I, when i say reorganization it's not like like <laughs> here in the west when you say that when it means firing everyone <laughs> i mean like just honest actual it's reorganization a, it's a yeah staff. good reorganization a race yeah, stack. yeah. Uh, Why should you have to share What? Don't fear it. I do. Don't fear it. It's kind. Don't fear unsundered Foxconn. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, it's so. It's the lips. Yeah. Yeah. I feel. We were debating for a We were debating as we were watching whether he was wearing lipstick on the hard oh, yeah. side or if that's his natural skin but it's probably uh, lipstick but i feel uh, yeah. that it's actually the lips on the left that is, are his real yeah. color <laughs> <laughs> yeah the lips on the left one that the upper lip which is white and the lower lip black yeah yeah yeah, yeah. he has two tone lips yes god i wish on stream he like did a side profile and be like i'm hiding when I'm, he did I'm, yeah. he, he, he did, did. oh he did i missed that, that. oh my god times. yeah that's beautiful uh, yeah um so there you go. Uh, that was the live letter. Lots of stuff. Lots of very exciting stuff about the graphics update. I'm very impressed. Very yeah, impressed with what absolutely. they showed. I mm-hmm. they went way further than I thought. So um, lots Damn, to look they forward weren't to. Lying. No, that letter was it's live. Nice. That sure yeah, was, it was, buddy. It's nice that we're getting. We got a live letter this month. We're getting one next month, and one after that. It's nice after probably almost three months without one. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Uh, they're ramping up. Um, only three months. Wait, where are we? We're in April, yeah. May, June, well, July. Two yeah. and a half. Yeah. Two and a half, three hours. Three, three, hours. <laughs> three months. Oh, yeah, it's two and a half. You're right. Yeah. yeah. 28th of June. Than, I thought. It's coming it's uh, ever be a closer. Good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Unless Georgi gets his way, and then it will be a Raubarn Extreme again, Georgi. And if that happens, know that you manifested it. True. I won't be angry. I'll get more time to work the jump. Okay. That's fine. I'll come up with a plan. I'm going to level my crafters. I'll level Viper and Pictomancer. I won't even be mad. Mm -hmm. Right. I won't even be mad. Right. There was... They... During one of the other presentations, did as... Okay. You're cutting out too much. You're cutting out too much. Okay. (laughs) Sorry. sorry. (laughs) We can't... Yeah. We we have to wrap here. Whatever Georgi said... He'll write it. He'll send you a written uh, <laughs> transcript of what he to just everyone? said to everyone it, um, individually. It, um, every expressed. viewer on this watching this episode, you'll get a transcript from from Gergi. Uh, try that again, Gergi. One last time. Let's see if it works. Okay, let's see. If I cut out again, just cut. Just yeah. end the episode. Yeah. Um, 
during one of the other 14 hour segments um they briefly talked about the horrors of Rauban Extreme mm -hmm. and there were people in chat that were celebrating saying we won we got to level the new jobs uh, damn yeah yeah it wasn't worth it no <laughs> no yeah, it wasn't but we got the, we got it we got it we got it we got it uh that's it folks thanks for watching i noticed that the the I have to fix this as well, don't I? The the end um, yeah, you slide. Yeah. Still, still have not fixed it yet. Yeah. No. Well, it's fixed in the intro and outro, but yeah. Okay. Uh, well, maybe not in the outro actually for this. Uh, we'll see. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll be back next week, same time, same place. Remember to follow on Twitter at speakersxiv, twitch.tv slash speakersxiv, youtube.com slash speakersxiv, exclamation Discord in chat if you want to join our Discord server. If you're watching on demand, links in the description. Remember to send us mogmail, speakersxiv.com slash mogmail. And if you're watching live, there will be a post show. So uh, we will see you there and uh, be good. Wow. Bye. Bye.